happening here. New stories for a new era, a way for both the theater and the audience to enjoy performances safely. And here to tell us about D. Cameron Providence is Josh Short. He is the artistic director at the Wilbury Group. Good morning. Good morning, Michaela. Are you, you guys me. are actually working closely with Waterfire Providence on this one, and the inspiration behind the event is really interesting. Can you give us a little background? Sure. Yeah, we've been collaborating with Waterfire and putting this together for the last few months. Um, it's actually based on an, an old text um, written during the bubonic plague back in 1352, actually, and it's a it's about it's a story about ten young people who leave the city of Florence during the plague and they quarantine themselves in the countryside for 14 days and they spend two of those days in prayer, two of those days doing their work, and then 10 days telling stories. So we've taken that model and we've thrown away those stories and we've reached out to a lot of new artists from the Providence area and they've developed their own stories for it. So. Uh, and it sounds like e even just that rough idea, it sounds like a lot of different things that we can probably connect to and relate to during this time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we started it, it was very much coming out of, you know, coming out of our stay at home orders during COVID, the COVID-19 back in March. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously the pandemic is still going on. And so that, you know, creates a lot of inspiration. But then as the Black Lives Matter movement and social right. justice issues rose to the forefront, it's really it's really become a, a vision for an ideal future. And that's the prompt we've given to the artists. We've asked mm -hmm. each of them to share with the audiences their idea for an ideal future. Um, so, you know, we have everything from classical music to spoken word to dance and movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really just runs a, a great range of performance styles. It sounds wonderful, and, and things have already kicked off. You've already started, but there are plenty of other um, performances that folks can experience and take part in because you're running for quite some time. Yeah, well, just like the original Decameron, it runs for 14 days. So we kicked it off last Sunday, and uh, we'll go until Saturday the 22nd. And, you know, during the week from Tuesday to Saturday, we've got storytelling and performances happening over acres of land at the Waterfire Arts Center and the American Locomotive Works building down in Olneyville. Um, there are 10 performance spaces set up throughout and the audience moves from one to the next over the course of the evening. And then we've got a, some special events planned too. I mean, on Saturday, there's a community mural painting project where mm -hmm. members of the community are invited to the Steel Yard, which is just up the street from the Art Center. Yeah. Um, and they're invited to participate in putting together these dozens of murals that will be hanging throughout Olneyville afterwards. Some really great locations, as you mentioned. You, you did mention, though, that this is something that you have to physically go and see. I'm sure you've taken certain safety precautions. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, that's part of why it's taken so long, and it's just been an incredible effort, you know, on behalf of the Wilbury team and the Waterfire team. You know, we've been fortunate to work closely with the Department of Health on putting it together, as well as we have a, um, on staff a volunteer epidemiologist. Brandon Marshall is a professor at the Brown University School of Public Medicine, mm -hmm. and he's really helped us design this event in a way that ensures audience artist safety. Yeah. So everyone, mask required, everybody must complete a medical screening questionnaire before they're allowed on the premises at all. And right. with the other thing that's you know, pretty innovative, I, I think, is that we've separated into two separate festival areas. So mm -hmm. you know, anybody who goes to the East Festival is not allowed to cross over to the West Festival and vice versa. And that's a, you know, another way to help us with the contact tracing and to ensure that people are kept separate. That's great. I, I feel like you've tapped into the right minds, including obviously those folks from Waterfire Providence. They do great work um, throughout the years, and it's nice to see this partnership take place. Josh, thank you so much for sharing all the details. Sounds like a great event. My pleasure, Michaela. Thank you again for having me. Oh, our pleasure. All right. If you guys want more details or you want to know exactly when some of those performances are or where they are, you can find links up at roadshow.com.